Hi guys, welcome to the lesson on arithmetic series. Now we've already learned that a series is when I sum up the terms of a sequence. Of a sequence. So I sum up the terms of a sequence. So if, and if I have uh, the symbol that we use for a series is S and S with a little footnote N means I'm going to sum up the first N terms. So uh, for example if I have S of 10 it means I'm going to sum up the first 10 terms, term 1, term 2, term 3, all the way up to my 10th term. So the one just before 10 would be term 9, 10 minus 1, and the last one would be term 10. That would be um, how I calculate a series, is to add up the terms of the sequence that it represents. So obviously, in an arithmetic series, my terms are... Uh, the terms of the arithmetic sequence. Okay, so let's just remind ourselves what the general term looks like. The general term of the arithmetic sequence is a plus n minus 1 times d. And how do I recognize the arithmetic sequence? It's got a constant difference. Okay, I'm going to shorten it. Constant difference. That is how I recognize it, and that's what's taking the value of d. So let's just quickly look at that constant difference. If I take, therefore, the sum, and I know it's an arithmetic sequence, uh, then I know that my first term, t term 1, term 2, term 3, and I'm going to sum up everything until the very last term, which would be the nth term. So I know a formula for each one of these. For example, the first term is just a. The second term is a plus d. I add the difference once. The third term is a plus 2d. I've added the difference two times. And this goes on until my second last term would be a plus. Now I've added the difference Uh, two times less than the end and then finally the last term sorry the last term is I've I add the very last term TN is a plus n minus 1 times D so maybe this one why is it minus 2 well just just look at every time I've subtracted 1 so for term 2 I just have a 1 in front of the D. Term 3, I have a 2 in front of the D. Okay, so every time I'm subtracting 1, so if I subtract another 1 from n minus 1, I get n minus 2. And then from this one, if I have n, n minus 1. Okay, those are the terms. Okay, so you'll also remember that previously we did say that if I have an arithmetic sequence, we did just mention it. But if I add, uh, t to calculate that, I add the first and the last term. Okay, and every time I'm going to do that, I'm going to get the same answer. If I add the first and the last term, what do I get? Well, I've got an A here, and I've got an A there, so I've got two A's. I've got no D's here, I have N minus 1D plus N minus 1D. That is the sum of the first and the last term. Now look, if I take the second and the second last term, the second and the second last term, if I add them together, I again I have an A here and I've got an A there. So I've got two A's. Here I have N minus 2D, okay, and there I have plus 1D. So instead of subtracting 2 from N, I'm only going to subtract 1 because I'm adding 1. Okay, so plus N minus 1D. Okay. Do you see? Those are exactly the same answers. And as a matter of fact, if I were to take these two, I'll also get 2a, that's an a, 2a plus n minus 1d. So every time I get the same answer, and how many of them am I, am I going to have? Well, there's n terms in total. However much n is, there's, there's so many terms in total. But I'm grouping them two at a time. So I'm adding two uh, groups of two. 
So in total, if I add up all of these in total, I will have not n, but half of it. Half of them. So that Sn will be 2a plus n minus 1d, okay? But I'll have not n of them, but half of that, because I'm grouping them two at a time. Um, th and that's the formula. That's the formula for the sum of the arithmetic series. Now, if you don't get it, sometimes, or actually most of the times, we rather use the n over 2 in the front. Uh, no real difference, or there's no difference, actually. Um, whichever one you prefer. And this is also the same as if I take my first term, which was, oh, not alpha, but essentially it is, my first term plus my last term divided by, multiplied by n over 2. Okay, um, sorry, this is wrong, not there, there. Okay, so I hope that formula is simple enough, and let's go and look at how to apply that formula. So here's an example. Okay, in this example, find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic series. They tell us it's an arithmetic series. And there, there we go. They give it to us. Now, what I like to do is just simply finding the common difference. I have the first term A is negative 16. I have N. So if I write down my formula, this is my formula. N over 2 times 2A plus N minus 1D. Please, guys, memorize this off by heart. Um, uh, or at least know how, how we get it so that if you don't for, forget it you can easily get it but do not expect a formula in any of our tests okay so now to get the common difference so I've got n is 20 I've got a is 16 now I need, just need d okay I need d so that's the common difference I get that by saying negative 12 minus minus 16 is plus 16 so I get 4 and same here negative 8 minus minus 12 is plus 12 and I get 4 so there we go there's my um, common difference is 4 and all I need to do is substitute so I get 20 divided by 2 2 times negative 16 plus okay n minus oh, sorry n we do know n is 20 minus 1 times that 4 gives me an answer of, and now you can use your calculator if you want, you can simplify I suppose. Okay, 10 in here, then inside here we get negative 32 plus 19 times 4. Okay, would be what, 76? 76. Okay, and so, uh, I need to use your calculator, I suppose I can just do that in my head. So 10 times 76 minus 32 gives me 44 times 10 is 440. Okay, that is the sum of the first 20 terms.